Hello. In our previous video, we learned about the process of transfer of heat in solids, which is known as conduction. In this video, we will learn about another process, which is called convection. And convection is the process by which heat is transferred in liquids and in gases. Now, I have on the screen drawn a setup in which I have a container. So you can see the container here. I also have atoms or molecules and let us assume that this is water and all of these are water molecules present in the container. And the third part is a stand on which I have placed this tumbler. Also, I have a burner right here, which I'm going to place under the tumbler in some time. But before we do that, let us remember two things about liquids and gases. In liquids, there is a lot of space between the different particles and they are free to move around. In gases, the space between particles is too large and they have a large amount of space to move. Unlike solids where the particles of solids do not have any space to move around and if they have to move, they can only vibrate. The second point that I want you to remember is that the particles, which are basically the atoms or molecules of a liquid or a gas are always in motion. And why are they always in motion? Because there is some amount of energy present in the atoms or molecules that make up a liquid or a gas. Now, let us see what is happening inside the container. Now, I have drawn these blue circles, which represent the atoms or molecules in liquids. Now for this particular activity, I have just, I'm just going to represent a liquid, but convection, the process remains the same for gases also. So we, we won't do gases separately. So at this moment, these atoms, they look stationary, but they are not stationary. They are in a little motion. Now let us take this burner and place this burner under the tumbler. And what will happen now? Now in our previous classes, we have learned that when heat is transferred or is received by an atom, it gets energized. And so the first thing that is going to happen is the atoms that are right under the flame. Let us see this one and this one. These atoms that are directly in touch with the flame will get heated up. So first point is their amount of energy will increase. The second thing that will happen to these atoms is that their motion will increase. Now, assuming that one of these particles was already in motion, when you heat this up, its speed increases and it will move in a certain direction. The third thing that happens in liquids and gases, or I can say, what the third thing that happens to the atoms or molecules of liquids and gases when they are heated up is not only do they move, but they move upwards. So when a particle of a gas or a liquid is heated up, it moves and it moves upwards. So it can move like this, it can move like this, but mostly they move upward. What does this tell us about the heated atom or a heated molecule of gas or a liquid? It tells us that the particles of liquid or gases, when they are heated, they become lighter. And this means that Heated atoms or molecules are light, whereas the colder molecules are heavy. So let us see what happens here. Let me use my red marker and show you what happens. So let us assume that this molecule and this molecule and these molecules, they get heated up. Now they have a lot of energy, point number one. Second, their motion will increase. So they will, they, they, and, and the third thing is they can only rise up. So they start to rise up. As these three molecules, they rise up, what will they do? they have other molecules in front of them which are moving but are, are moving slowly. Now these three atoms have very high speeds. So they will collide with the atoms above them. They will collide with these atoms. And when they collide with these atoms, when they crash with these atoms, these three new atoms will also receive some amount of heat energy. When these three atoms receive some amount of heat energy, they will also become a little warm. And because they have become warm, they will also move upwards. So you see, all of these molecules, when they are heating up, two things are happening. First, 
they are they rise up second they collide with other atoms and molecules making them warm and then those cooler molecules will also rise up now when assume that these six molecules have risen up and i'm going to draw them with a red marker so let us say these are those six atoms that have moved up because now they are heated and they are going to rise up and collide with other molecules what do we see here we see that there is an empty space now how can these six molecules move upwards they can only move upwards if they push these other molecules so the other molecules are also heated up and pushed outwards right because they can move upwards and outwards in this, this particular direction so once they reach to the top after transferring their energy to all the atoms they are going to be packed really tightly so what is going to happen next is see all of these are now heated molecules and let's draw all of them out here once again so let me draw all the heated molecules let's say these are all heated molecules now clubbed together and you see there's a lot of empty space left behind so now the second point that you must remember is the cold molecules are heavier see we just did them colder molecules are heavier so what these molecules will do they will start moving uh, towards the empty space they will start getting towards the empty space so as they fall down and as they take up the empty space what is going to happen next there will be a certain amount of space that will be made available here and the colder molecules will now basically take in this space so let me just draw the colder molecules here a little rapidly and so here i've got the new colder molecules that have come in from the other places and you see now we have some empty space here we have some empty space here so what is going to happen these other colder molecules they will start to move inwards so these colder molecules will start to get inwards right and there's a lot of space there's some space rather created for the hotter molecules also so the colder molecules will now start to fall inwards so they are coming like this let me use a black marker to show the directions so the hotter molecules are rising up and then the colder molecules are falling down to take the space that was created by the rising hot molecules and now these hotter uh, water molecules are going to get slightly cooler and let us use a different color let us let us use pink to show that now they are getting cooled so now they are getting a little cool and they are going to also move to the places that is created by the uh, the the colder air uh, colder water molecules now when the colder water molecules have come in what is going to happen to them these colder water molecules will also get heated up and when they get heated up where will they go there three things will happen with them they will be their energy amount will increase their motion will increase and they will rise upwards so again what we see here is that a sort of motion of molecules is set up and what kind of motion is set up let me use a purple color to show the direction of motion so the hotter molecules rise up they, they collide with other molecules transfer heat to other molecules and then colder molecules are falling down the hotter molecules is going to take the place of the colder molecules and then as they take the place of colder molecules they have become slightly colder they get down they get heated up they move round and round in circles so what do we see that the molecules are set in motion in a, a kind of a cyclic manner in a kind of a circular manner so you see that there is this kind of a motion a, a repetitive motion and such a motion is called a current so movement of atoms or particles is known as current so this kind of motion that is set up is known as a convection current and convection current is the reason why the water molecules or the different parts of the water inside the tumbler gets heated up i hope you've understood how water molecules gets heated up how how these molecules get heated up when uh, a particular liquid is heated up so the uh, the colder molecules rise up transfer energy to colder molecules then they become warm and then they move sideways the colder molecules come down they get heated up and again they rise move sideways and fall down and this cyclic current is known as convection current so this is the process by which uh, the atoms or molecules in liquids and gases are heated up so next time when you see 
the milk getting heated up the top part of the milk gets heated up because of convection currents the molecules move collide with other molecules transferring heat energy and also cooler molecules fall down they gain more heat and they rise up so i hope you've understood what convection is and how is heat basically transferred in liquids and gases thank you